All right, to save the file to turn in, you're going to do two things. There's two files here. One file is there's a picture box here, and in this picture goes this picture. It, it, and, it, and there's text box here with words in it. There's a picture box with, with a photo. If you save the scribe's photo and turn it in, it will not show when I open it. It will just show the boxes where the pictures go. It won't show the pictures inside the boxes. So the first file, the scribe's file, which is fine, is going to go, is going to be saved. You just, just click um, save as, and I've already saved it, so it's right there. Um, and you give it a name and it's saved. So the .sla is the scribe's, scribus file, scribus file. And you do that one. To, um, uh, it's the same, I wouldn't want to save that over what I did, I don't. Um, to create a file that I can see, you're going to export it as a PDF. And there's a couple of things you want to say. Just to, in exporting, if you add a font, like this fancy Mistral regular font, maybe you don't have that on your computer. So if you open this PDF to go and print this, you wouldn't see European travels like I see it. So that means that the font file, so all the fonts on your computers are little files. There's a little file that says .fon for font, and it's saved on your computer somewhere. And so that's why sometimes when you have a file, it says, oh, we don't have that font, so you can't make it look like that. There's a replacement font. Because there are font files that are put on your computer. Um, in this case, the font files are being saved in this PDF so that if someone opens this who doesn't have the font, it will still display with this, they'll have the font as part of this file and it will still still display. So you can save and like the other file, I've already saved this once. So it's saving on top of the other one. Anyway, so I've saved this as a PDF. So it's going to look exactly like this. And I've saved it as a Scribus file, which when I open up won't show the picture. If you do, it won't show the pictures you have used because those pictures aren't embedded in a Scribus file, but they are embedded in a PDF file. So there it is. Thank you.